But well, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, and uh, and I like where this is going here tonight. This is really interesting to me. Uh, and I'm not joking about this. I mean, this is really good. So, so, I mean, so Billy called in before. So, um, you know, so, so, you know, you where you're at, you know, as far as, you know, if you had any advice to not just him, but any kind of high school student right now, or, you know, uh, uh, you know, knowing what you know now and, and, you know, the experiences that you've been through, I mean, high school's tough right now. Um, and, you know, I see patients in my office every day. Um, is there anything that, you know, you would kind of tell them or, or tell people, kids who are graduating from high school these days, as far as, you know, life lessons or, or things that you've learned? Well, first of all, if anybody bothers you in high school or calls you names, don't listen to them because they really don't know anything. People in high school don't know anything. And 20 years from now, 30 years from now, they're going to be wanting to be your friend on Facebook. And not because they're phony people, because they grow up. You know, nobody knows Jack in high school. You don't know anything. You might as well be an infant, okay? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, and, you know, it makes me so sad when you hear about kids being bullied and stuff because I want to, you know, it's just like I want to put in their little brains, the kids that are being bullied, that these people are nothing, nobody. They don't mean anything, and what they say doesn't mean anything. And they don't even know what they're doing probably because they're not even mature, you know? In high school, I think that, you know, we, at least when I was in high school, you know, what everybody thinks of you is so important. You know, it's so important and it means so much. And if somebody makes fun of you, you take that on, you know, and you think, oh, God, they're right. I'm this, I'm that. And no, you know, what happens when you get older, the person that was picked on becomes a doctor and the person that was picking on them is living in the gutter, (laughs) (laughs) you know, nothing anybody says to you in high school means anything. And if you think you're in love, forget it. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. No, no, I don't know. It's just like, you know, when I look back on high school, there was some good times. There were some not so good times, but You know, the only friend, like I said, that I even talk to at all anymore is Kathy. You know, you may still keep in touch with your your very closest friends or maybe your best friend. You may still keep in touch with them as an adult. But a lot of times you move on, you never see these people again. Right. You know. Um, So as far as, as, as relationships with people, yeah, don't ever let anybody tell you anything like you're a nerd or you're this or you're that. Because they don't mean nothing. It means nothing, not a zero zilch. <laughs> and when I hear about kids getting picked up, you know, because in my day, I've, I've never seen people, like what you see now, the way people get bullied now is sickening. I right. mean, they're downright evil now. You know, in our day, people weren't like that. The worst anybody got called was a nerd or something. But, you know, you know, nowadays they are, are just terrible. Like, you know, driving kids to suicide. Right. You know, I don't ever remember anybody getting bullied so much. You know, you had your nerds, you had your jocks, you had, you know, your <laughs> new wave crazy people. <laughs> right, right. You, you had all the different groups. But nobody ever got so bullied or so picked on like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. We got 25 minutes here. Why don't we left here? Why don't we take a break here? And- 